Hello everyone, a welcome to all of you. Today we are back with the another very interesting interview question. So in this question we have a table, the name and occupation column we have in this table. So in the name column there are a few names and along with the occupation of the name of the persons. Okay. So the Samantha is a doctor, Julia is an actor, and Maria is an actor. Okay, and so on. Okay. So what is the query? The query is we want to generate an output uh, and uh, such that name column is occupation is sorted in such that alphabetically and displayed underneath in corresponding occupation. Okay. So what does that mean? That means we want to create a column for a doctor, actor, singer, and professor. We want to generate a table. In the table, there would be four columns, and the column heading should be the occupation. And below that column, below the headings, all the uh, related persons of that occupation would be there. Okay, so the output should be like this: actor, doctor, professor, singer. Okay, so that how the output should be like this. All right. So let's write a query for this. Okay. So. First of all, I'll create a groups for for the occasion occupation. Sorry, okay. So for that, create a group. I'll generate some row numbers, and we'll make a partition according to the occupations. Okay. Partition by occupation and the order by name. All right. So now we have row numbers. According to the occupation, okay. So basically, these are the groups. This is the actors group, and these are the person ranks, okay. These are the doctors group. These are the ranks of the person, professors group, and singers group, okay. So now, after generating the row numbers, we'll create a CTE and we'll create the columns for the occupations, okay. So for the particular column we want to create, if we doesn't have that column. So we have a powerful thing in SQL which is called select case statements. Case when statements we have, so through that we can generate any column on a condition basis. Okay, so let's do this. Case when okay, case when occupation equals to actor okay then what then name okay so when the occupation is actor then the name should be there okay if the occupation is act actor then the name jane and if the occupation is actor then the name julia okay and as actor all right so we'll copy this okay Right, so we have created a case statements, and we generate this output. All right, so let's give the Rn, okay, and order by Rn. All right, so let's generate the output. So now we have the groups of one, two, and three. Okay, in the group of one, these are the values along with the null values. In the group of two, these are the values along with the null values. And these are the, you know, values in the third group. All right. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna use max function in each case statement. Okay. So what max function will do? It will get the maximum values. Okay. In each column. All right. Max. Okay. Now max. the last one is okay so the condition is if we use the max function or any aggregate function so 
the column in the select statement should be come in a group by okay so we'll use the group by function okay and the column name all right so let's run this query all right so we got this output so i don't want this rn column so i'm going to remove it all right sorry let's run this okay so we have the same output all right so you can match this with the output actor jane julia maria and the doctor is janey samantha and the professor is ashley christine katy and the singers are mira and priya all right the same output we have generated all right so that's how we can use the aggregate function with the case statement and along with the analytical function we can generate the logic and through the logic we can generate this output all right so this was the, the first approach so now we have another approach for this without the case when function we can we have uh, another so we have another thing which is called pivot okay with the help of pivot we can also use this output we can also generate this output okay so how do we do that so let's do this okay we will we'll create groups with the help of row number all right so over close and we'll make partition by occupation and order by as usual name all right rn all right so now what we're going to do is we'll get create this as a sub query all right and uh, select a strict from x okay all right so now what we're going to do is we'll create a column headings and what are the column headings would be in the output query okay so what we want we want uh, four columns which is named actor doctor professor and singer okay so we'll write actor doctor singer and professor all right so we will create uh, from from sorry from this X. All right. So now, what we're gonna do is we'll write it. Okay. So in the pivot, we'll put max function as usual, because we want we will get the maximum value. Okay. So in the maximum, we will put uh, the name function, name column. Okay. For occupation column. Okay. We want names in the for occupation. Okay. Occupation column in what are the occupations? The column headings. Okay. So these are the column headings we have. All right, and this is the pivot. Okay, so we will give name of this pivot, pivot table. Okay, so let's run this. Voila! So now we have the same output as we have, you know, the above query. All right, so the same output we have. Okay, so these uh, were the two uh, logics queries. Uh, which you know we got the output all right so with the help of pivot pivot is work only in sql server but uh, maximum uh, but the case when statement can work in every rdms all right so thank you so much guys hope you have learned something and if you have learned something so please hit the subscribe button and like the video all right thank you so much